Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Naja Sherman. Dan Schaefer has the night off. Tonight, we are taking an in depth look at businesses as they begin to reopen under the Safer at Home order. When Governor Kay Ivey announced expanding the order, she admitted it was not because the number of positive cases is down, but because the economy is in a free fall. Way 31 Sydney Martin joins us live at Huntsville City Hall this afternoon. She learned more from local leaders on what they think about reopening. Sydney. Naja, Madison County Commission Chairman Dale Strong told me he believes it's time to open up the state, and he agrees with Governor Kay Ivey's decision that she announced yesterday afternoon. Now, Strong said he believes he's comfortable because businesses have had nearly two months to come up with plans to safely operate and abide by health guidelines. Strong also said people travel from 17 different counties to work on Redstone Arsenal, and Dr. Karen Landers with the Alabama Department of Public Health told me she understands although the virus isn't gone, people need to be able to go back to work to make money. I asked both if they have concerns. We are the economic engine for North Alabama. We have so many differing uh, counties that are part of our economic engine, and this is our workforce. Right here will be something that we continue to monitor, of course, to be sure that uh, if someone does test positive. Persons need to take all the measures that they can and take personal responsibility to reduce the spread of COVID-19. But I also have to understand as a physician that people have to work, they have to make a living, they have to be able to provide for their families and loved All public leaders agreed if you are in a high risk group, you should be aware of factors. And even though businesses are open, still stay home for your safety. Now, Landers told me today just because the state is reopening, that doesn't mean you can let your guard down. You still need to practice social distancing and sanitizing. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News.